Okay, please uh, introduce yourself and uh, for uh, what problem you came to our uh, clinic. In English, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm 25 years old. I'm not sure. 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 जर्नी <laughs> सोल्यूशन अच्छे पांडिचे मेरक जनरल मेनेजर का पे डाक्टर बब्ली गोम्स डाक्टर बब्ली जेम्स एन सारे एक्सरसाइज टू क्या एग्जाक्ट अगर चूप्चारे अक्सरसाइज ट्रांसलेट क इनफ्लेक्शन एक्सटेंशन मा डयाग्नोसि अंड सी टू वटिब्रा अने रईट रोटेट का इट इज नाट रोटेटिंग फुली सो दादी वाले एम वटिब्रा आर्टरी अने फोरमीना अटद वटिब्रा की एस्पेषली सर्वैकल्ल अंदर पास अवतदन वटिब्रल आर्टरी अभी आक्सीपिटल एरिया की ब्लड सप्ले सो दट इज कनेक्टेड टू ऐस सो वे एपड़े रेंज लेर एक्सट्रीम इला मूमेंट अभी सी टू सी थ्री जंक्षन अने दर्ट को दर्फ सो अस्टेंट वटिब्रा स्ट्रांगुलेट इन इला आने अभी इला मूव कावाली फ्री फ्री को मूव अच्छे लेको आर्टरी अने स्ट्रांगुलेट स्ट्रांगुलेट इंस्टंटली सो दट वी हाव फि ई थिंक हाउ मेनी सैशन फोर सोजल्ट Though I have a camera, but still, when we put reverse gear, we just see either sides. Kada, but mm-hmm. now I am very comfortable and I have level up now. Ah, giddiness is. Ah, a jerk giddiness when they, that is level. Check like thick man, it will check man at chair. Matter. Okay. Ah, I am. 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 I मूर्ति पेशेंट कंडीशन वाज सफरिंग विथ वटिगो सिंस टेन इयर्स सो ई वाट टू एक्सप्लेन इज कंडीशन ऑन द स्पाइनल मॉडल So we diagnosed with uh, spring test. Upon diagnosis, he had dysfunctions at C0, C1, and C2. C0, C1 was translated right and stuck in extension. C2 dysfunction was it is left rotated and stuck, meaning it is not rotating completely towards right. The process of diagnosis my medial border of the forefinger i placed at the c0 c1 facet joints 
on both the sides and upon translating to the left glide barrier additionally i applied 1 to 2 kg force to test the end fail whether to see whether it, whether it springs or not it was not springing so in the same way i translated c07 to right glide barrier upon reaching the right translatory glide barrier additionally i applied 1 to 2 kg force to test the end feel whether it is springing or not it was springing meaning it is not translating to left side at the terminal range in extension in the same way to test the c2 dysfunction i placed again the medial border of the forefinger on the articular pillar of the c2 upon flexing the cervical spine it has locked all the facet joint except c2 then i reached the left rotational glide barrier then i applied additional 1 to 2 kg force to test the end feel whether it is springing or not it was springing in the same way i reached the right rotational glide barrier and applied additional 1 to 2 kg force to test the end feel upon applying 1 to 2 kg force rotation to right it was not springing meaning it had stuck laterally so this was the dysfunction which is causing vertigo in this patient and i will be explaining in detail the pathomechanics or the cause of vertigo because of this dysfunction on the diagram One of the patient named Murthy was suffering with cervicogenic vertigo. Upon diagnosis, uh, it revealed that C0, C1 was stuck laterally translated in extension. C2 right rotation was lost, so it is left rotated and stuck. As we know, the vertebral artery passes through the foramina of C6 and goes upwards to supply posterior part of the brain mainly occipital area and cerebellar area. Occipital area is connected to vision, cerebral area connected to coordination. As there is a dysfunction at C0, C1, C2, so the vertebral artery got strangulated on either side of the C0, C1, C2, C3 junction. So upon slightest moment of extension, flexion or rotation, the strangulation was exaggerated and temporarily there is a loss of blood to posterior part of the brain that resulted as vertigo. We treated with mobilization and manipulation and restored the C0, C1 lateral translation in extension to the left and C2 rotation to the right and normal glides of the all the spine was restored and normal alignment was restored. With that the patency of vertebral artery was maintained and the continuous blood was supplied to the posterior part of the brain. With that the vertigo was corrected.